Hi everybody, this is Janique and today I will be talking about blood sacrifice and blood sacrifice been around forever. Nothing is new under the sun. This, this is not new. It has been around forever. From in the Old Testament days, they used to be passing their children over fire. And this is dedicate their children to Moloch. They're still doing it today. Every second, every minute, every hour, every day. They are doing blood sacrifice. This is why there's so much accident that happened. There, this is why there's so much murder. Because the demon on the earth constantly need blood. This is why there's so much killing. So much shooting. So much witchcraft. And poverty. And sickness. And disease. Excuse me. This all happened from blood sacrifice. It has been around forever and it is more today than back in the Bible days. They're doing a lot of blood sacrifice in secrecy. Because if you're in the occult, you have to make blood sacrifice. If I want to be an actri actress or a singer or a rapper or even sometime a pastor... Those like televangelists, they have to make blood sacrifice. What is blood sacrifice? Blood sacrifice is when you sprinkle the life of a victim blood upon an altar. And you could also use animals to do blood sacrifice. Because when you do that, you invoke spirit. Yes, the blood invokes spirit and you feed those demon hallelujah when you do stuff like that this has been happening forever so you know if you're in a music industry they have to give up blood sacrifice that's why sometimes when they have cancer people die they give up blood sacrifice to renew the contract and they covenant with satan the devil he does not do anything for free. What shall it profit a man to gain the whole world but lose his only soul? A lot of people, they do this thing in secrecy. They won't tell you they do this. And this happened during the 12 a.m. at night until the 5 a.m. hours right before sun come up. The rising of the sun. While we sleep in, the enemy is running around sowing evil tears. He's doing blood sacrifice, initiating people into witchcraft, occulted, killing on the altar, slaughtering of the blood, slaughtering of the animal. This happens every single day, every night. The only way to disrupt the these assignment if the people of god arise at the 12 a.m hours until the 5 a.m hours or 6 a.m and fight and warfare and dismantle and scatter and bind these evil assignment and cancel it and confuse the enemy come on them to turn on each other and kill each other because these stuff happen they blood sacrifice babies because the baby is innocent. They blood sacrifice the innocent baby. This is why so many kids go missing yearly, daily. We have to cover the kids underneath the blood. This is why kids vanish, kidnap, drown, blood sacrifice. Bring them on the altar, torture them because they get a high from it when the baby's more scared and they drink the blood. They torture the baby, whether they stab the baby. I don't even want to imagine what they do to the baby. They could all rape the little newborn baby and they blood sacrifice that baby and they sprinkle the blood on the altar. When they do that, they invoke demonic spirit in the early realm. Oh my God. This world 
people think this world is all natural, but the spiritual realm is deep. And in order for you as a Christian man and woman to really have a good Christian walk with Jesus to fulfill destiny, purpose, and assignment to the fullest level, like what David did, Elijah did, and Paul did. You have to know spiritual things. It's not like I love to tell these stuff, but this is the stuff to get you ahead of your enemy. And the devil, you think he like when I bring these video? He does not like it. I mean, they bother me all the time. They watch me constantly. They do not like when I bring this video. So I'm just going to plead the blood over this video. In the mighty name of Jesus, they, they, they won't do nothing to it. Disrupt it. In the mighty name of Jesus, I soak the video on and eat the blood of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. So, yes. So when like a person go to like a witch doctor or, or a wizard, the witch doctor, like the woman would be like a witch and the man would be like a wizard. Or in my country, Jamaica, they say, oh, be a man or oh, be a woman or voodoo man or voodoo woman or sorcerer in other country, different names they call it when you go to those people the first thing they're going to tell you you have to pay for an animal for them to like kill the animal to sprinkle blood like you go to them say you have a problem say you say you're sick and you're trying to get cured the first thing they're going to tell you you have to pay money <laughs> that's the first thing because everything is money with them the next thing they're going to tell you buy a chicken and they will slaughter the chicken head and sprinkle it. And they invoke the demonic spirit on the earth. And the demonic spirit tell them what to do to help you get cure. But the catch to this is you come in covenant with them. Not only you alone, but to three to four generations after you, you curse ignorantly. You curse these innocent people that don't even born yet ignorantly so they're going to come into this world full of poverty hardship and they don't know why their life so messed up and jacked up because you curse them by going to the obia man and the obia woman the witch the wizard the warlock you go to seek physician and the bible said you should seek them god said you should not you should not seek them he hates when we do that. It's an abomination to the Lord God Almighty. We should not go to seek these people that use familiar spirit. We shall not. God hates when we do that. Because you know, if we need to know anything, we have a powerful, mighty God that owns everything in the heaven and the earth. He speak this earth into existence. That's how powerful his mouth is. And his voice is like thousand waves. So God is powerful. You just go to God. Seeking in fasting and prayer and in quiet time. And he will tell you the solution to your problem. But many people always want an easy way out. Because do it the godly way. It is the hard way. Because God going to make sure you learn something. When you're learning how to fight a battle. He wants you to be a warrior. So he's going to make sure you learn also. From that battle that you're fighting. Whether it be cancer, witchcraft. He's going to make sure you learn. So he's not going to deliver you right away. You're going to learn because in the process, you have to learn. So you'll be able to help a sister or a brother out later on in life. So it's a learning process. But people, they always want a quick fix. They want to be rich. And they don't want to, you know, break the curse and covenant and fight spiritually. So they go to the witch doctor. And the witch doctor will tell them, Buy a pig and bring it come. When they buy that pig and bring it come, then the witch doctor will kill that pig. And you know, that pig represents a person in the family. So if that person is trying to become rich, have three kids, whichever kid the enemy feel like taking, which he's going to take the one with the brightest star and future. When they kill that pig, a life is lost. In the natural realm. Although they do this spiritually. <laughs> oh my God. They do this spiritually. But the person life 
is lost in the natural realm, whether it be the first, second, or third child, we don't know. They choose what they want. The devil choose whichever one of the greatest star that would be a threat to the devil when they grow up. He killed that one. So it's an exchange. I would call that a spiritual exchange. I don't know if that's the right name, but I'm going to call it like that. A spiritual exchange. You want to be rich. You go seek a witchcraft doctor. You exchange a person life for riches. That's how they do it. Because they, do, they don't do anything for free. You have to exchange something. They have to blood. Because there's power in the blood. There is life in the blood. And the blood speak. You could take a blood test. And it could tell you everything about what's going on in your body. So you know, blood is even more powerful than all we could even imagine. They always after our blood. The witches, wizard and warlock, they love to drink our blood, give them power, and they love to eat our flesh and drink our blood, the human being flesh. Same thing with the demons and devil. That's what they eat. That's why they always want blood. So you must donate blood. And I feel bad for people that donate blood. I try to wake up some friends, but they're too ignorant. Tell them, stop giving your blood freely like that. They could manipulate you through your blood. They could use your blood. Once they get a hold of your blood, they can manipulate you through your blood. It's easy for them to get a hold of your blood too because everybody go and do blood work. Also, the next way for them to get your blood, there's people that like to have sex and they period. It's an easy way for them to get your blood. They also could get your blood like when you're on your period. TMI is very nasty and some just drop out on the ground. Also, if you got a cut, cut and it bleed, they could take it spiritually because it, it's spiritual, you know, they're spirit. They could take it, so... Yes, it's easy for them to get a hold of your blood. It's not very hard. But if you're a powerful child of God, they can't use your blood against you. See what I'm saying? When they try to do that, it will backfire and they will fall and die. So they will know not to mess with you and stuff. So you have to set the altar on fire. If you feel like, you know, they manipulate you through your blood because they do control people through their blood. There's people that hearing stuff in their head, hearing voices stuff like that um one minute they have one personality they are happy then the next minute they're sad you are being manipulated spiritually through your blood yes they manipulate you through your blood and they could know everything about you through your blood you know your bloodline all the way back where you come from through your blood so yes the enemy use the blood and he loves to drink the blood when they drink the blood the witches and wizard and warlock they get power from drinking the human being blood uh, they drink animal blood also um they eat the human being flesh like they would kill a person and they, they all of them in their coven drink the blood and eat the human being flesh and it make them become very wicked they call it more evil in the realm of the spirit. Like they'll become more powerful, higher rank. Like they'll be a, in a, on a higher rank and be able to do more evil. But it is wicked. It is wicked. They become like they don't have an art. That's why you see witches and wizards and warlock. They could kill. And you see murderer. They could kill brutally. Because... Of that same spirit. They could be some people. That's a murderer. The next thing. Some people they like to eat blood from the food. Because God tells us we're not supposed to eat the food with blood in it. We must drain the blood out. And some people they like to eat their meat. Rare. I think that's what they call it in America. <laughs> I'm trying to learn the, new, the word they call it. Rare. Barely cook. With the blood dripping from it. Yuck. Yuck. They like that. And when you start eating like that, you become like an animal. Yes. You get angry very easy because God says you shouldn't eat it. And when he says you shouldn't do nothing and you do it and break spiritual law, then the Satan come inside of you. Satan come inside of you when you break spiritual law. 
And how I know that? Because I have break a lot and the devil come inside of me and I had to beg God for mercy to get, get rid of them because they would have tortured me and kill me if it weren't for God mercy. So yes, when you break spiritual rule, spiritual law, God cannot protect you no more. The enemy come in. Because if you give a rule and a law, just like on this earth, the law of the land say, thou shalt not thief. You're going to go to jail. Your lawyer can't protect you from that. He might try to give you, try to get you on lower time, but you're going to have to serve your time because that's the law of the land. Same thing with God. When you break it, he cannot protect you. When you break the law, your mother, your father cannot protect you. The police cannot protect you. We have to lock you up. The judges cannot protect you. They have to lock you up because you break the rule and the law of the land. If you go murder somebody, they're going to lock you up. So the same thing with God. When you don't obey God rules and law, Guess what? You're getting locked up, arrested in the realm of the spirit. So it is in the natural, so it is in the spirit. The demons come and arrest you. And they're going to torture you. They're going to come in your life and give you a living hell. So they do a lot of blood sacrifice every day. Yep. And I want to talk about this exact blood sacrifice, which I was looking up. See how much children they abort yearly in the world. 73 million. I couldn't believe it's that much children is being aborted. This earth is screaming. Those innocent children that has been aborted. When you abort the children, you de you dedicate them to the God. Mulak. M-O-L-E-C-H. Mulak. And the Bible talk about that. In Leviticus 20, verse 1 and 2, it said, And the Lord spoke unto Moses, saying, Again, thou shalt say to the children of Israel, Whosoever ye be of the children of Israel, or of the stranger that sojourn in Israel, that giveth any of his seed unto Moloch, he shall surely be put to death. The people of the land shall stone him with stone. So, they don't stone you no more when you give to Moloch. And Moloch is a pagan god. And aka Satan is work for Satan, Satan of all different type of name. What is the same Satan? The army of Satan, the Moloch, is a pagan god, and the Israelite was passing their children over fire, dedicating their children to Moloch. In those days, they used to stone them and kill them when they find out. But because Jesus come and spill his blood on the cross. We have, we're on the grace and I know the grace is going to be running out soon because of all the evil, but we're underneath grace. So we could get, we, we get, we have, we have done a lot of evil stuff on this earth and get away with it, but the grace is going to run out. Trust me. The time is coming because the earth is getting wickeder as the day go by. So the time is coming when God grace is going to run out. They do a lot of abortion and people do it ignorantly. When they do that, they dedicate their children to Moloch. They don't know that. But that's the God. When you kill your children by aborting them, go to the doctor, get them aborted. You ignorantly say, because the only thing, the world is all physical and natural. They say, oh, it's my body. I could do what I want. I shall have a lot of sex and I should kill as much baby as I want. God said, thou shall not kill. The minute you do that, you've been arrested in the realm of the spirit. Yep, you've been arrested. So demons come inside of you and they could do whatever they want with you. Some of those people, I know people that do abortion. Some of them end up with cancer, all type of sickness they end up dying with later on because of the evil you did. You end up with cancer, sickness and disease. And many of them, if they don't repent, could go to hell. So they're going to burn in hell forever if they don't repent. Because they don't think nothing is wrong with it. They think it's okay to do it. And they don't feel sorry. And so if you're dedicating your children, children is a blessing. Children is a blessing from God. And when you go and dedicate your children by going to the abortion clinic and whatever way they get it out, whether they suck it out or whatever way they get it out, through you cut it out, you're dedicating to Moloch. One more life to Mulak. Mulak getting more power on this earth. And the more children he get, the more he want. That's why people constantly, some people that do abortion, they keep on doing it over and over. The demons inside of them telling them, 
to keep on doing it, to keep on doing it. They don't even know they're being influenced, that they'd be mind controlled by these demons. So it is pretty deep. It is pretty deep. Blood sacrifice happen every day. People in their family member, people in the family, they, they're going to find witches and wizards in every family. You can't show me a bloodline that don't have witches and wizards in it. You just may not know they're a witch and wizard because they're not going to come out and say, I'm a witch, I'm a wizard. God have to show you that because they're going to act like a regular person until God start open up your spiritual eye and show you this stuff that you have a witch in your family that's fighting against you. They, in secrecy, try to blood sacrifice people so they could be in higher rank with Satan because their job is to always be higher and in good part with Satan because the minute they messed up, Satan will kill them brutally. He's not a respect to a person. Satan will kill them. He don't care. He's not faithful to nobody. Satan don't care. He think he care about human being, but human being don't know that. But they always trying to be do wicked stuff for Satan, and then Satan just use them and kill them when he done with them, because their life is cut short when you work for Satan. You're not going to live out your life. If you're supposed to live until 100, it's going to cut short, maybe to even 40 years old. It's cut very short when they work for Satan. They don't live that long. We see it with a lot of singer and rapper. Michael Jackson, Whitney Houston, what's his name? Prince, the other one named, oh God, Elvis Presley. Yep. And there's a lot more. Their life has been cut short. That's what happened when you start messing with the devil, start sleeping with him. You will pay for it. I said, you will pay for it. He does not play. You will pay for it and you will die very horrible, cruel to death. And then you're going to die again. You're going to burn in hell for eternity. People tell me, they see family member that the Lord gave chance to become safe. That was a witch's wizard. And they didn't do it. They're, they see them right now in hell. Being burned and being tortured by the demon. Because the demon going to remind you. That when you was on earth. You was killing a lot of people. So they. Whatever you was doing on earth. The demon do that to you when you go to hell. So I'm asking you. If you're one. Listen to this. And have not give your life to God. Today is the day. You give your life to God. And walk fully. Turning away. From sin. And from the world, walk full in God, cause this the earth is gonna is gonna come to an end. It is, it is gonna come to an end. God is coming back for His people, and Satan is very busy trying to get as much as possible to go to hell with him. Every day he's recruiting people, and it's very easy for him to recruit them through the internet. Now, he's recruiting a lot of people through the internet, YouTube. And using other YouTubers and Instagram model to take down people. To bring them to hell. So you could not make it to heaven. You know how nice heaven was. So you're not trying to make the whole world make it to heaven. A lot of people is going to make it to hell. Over the billions 